Last time on Near Replicant, Brother Near Edition. Yeah, this is more a tight knit community instead of a giant kingdom. You would really need the hearts and minds of your people. Especially when it's this small. And thus, in front of these beloved guests, and per rule 904, I hereby request that you seal your union with a kiss. I'm kind of Kane in these type of situations. Hachin is like, aww, this is so cute. Aww, that looks awesome. And I'm like, meh. I identify with Kane so much. This sort of thing is always hard for me. Freya's like, really? You too? Mm. Kiss, damn it! Wait, did they kiss? Did she take the mask off? How did they kiss? Do the masks kiss? Ah, and meals. Ah, shit. God damn it. Oh, fuck. Oh, son of a. Well, there's our Cerberus. And I think the next one is to go to, um... We're gonna go to Facade. And there's gonna be another quest here for Facade. Oh, and I don't have the, um, things yet. Oh, it's you, eh? Unless my plants died. Hmm... What have we got today? Which job should I give you first? Yeah, it's the last mission. A facade resident is looking for help. It's about flowers or something like that. You watched DMC5 SE in 4K? How was it? How was it? Was it good? I wrote down the client's location on your map, so head over there to get the details. It looks spectacular in gameplay. That's, that's why I wanted to film in 4K. Before, when I was only filming in 1080p, I only played in 1080p. I don't want to play in any resolution I can't record in. It doesn't feel right. It really doesn't feel right. Did I level up? Oh, almost. How are my flowers doing? Damn it, it's still fucking blooming. Damn it, we don't have a new fairy man, do we? Rats. Kind of sucks how we lose the fairy man. We can really quickly try another costume. Turn to title screen. It's a really quick load. Alright, let's check it out. Options. Wardrobe. I don't want to be your hot type S, no thank you. Standard Kabuki. Ooh, there's Kabuki and there's Samurai. And Emil Samurai Standard. Let's have him stand. We're all Kabuki now. We're all Kabuki. You don't need a fairy man, you're just lazy. Hey! Just because it's true. Oh yeah, we can get some of the goats that we need. Good point. Alright, it's time for us to be Kabuki. I wonder how we're going to look Kabuki. I wonder how um, Kane is going to look in Kabuki. Is she going to be fully dressed or is she going to be, you know, Kane? I look like a Mongolian. I've got a theory. I close the game. I re-enable the internet. Connection status. 
Settings, connect to internet. Cheeky's Palace, 5G edition. Connect to internet on. Connected. Yes, I know my thing is ending. System, date and time. Ooh, so the date has now like launched forward. Let's see if the thing died. Well, DMC5 in 4K was super sexy. Oh my god, it was. Alright, let's see if they've died, because we've literally jumped ahead six days. In the calendar, not the time zones. I don't know if the days will actually do anything. We'll find out though. Come on, load, damn you. Load. Alright, let's see the others in Kabuki. I definitely like the near outfits, but I don't really want 9S. Like, I was never a huge fan of them. Ah. Uh, whatever. Alright, let's see how everyone else looks. Uh, wait, we gotta go that way? What's up with that? Oh yeah, I gotta talk to her and then we get the invite for the king. Like if we did that now, and not later. Maybe we'll get a new ferryman. Am I the only one thinks that our hair looks like Sasori? Sasori of the red sand. Ooh, he killed so many people that the sand around him was red. Shades on the coast, the ferryman dead. You've had quite the rough trip. That's what happens when you send me to the forest of myth where I ate all of the mushrooms. That poor ferryman used to tell me stories of the epic quarrels he had with his wife. He found the whole thing quite amusing. Seems that dates don't affect it. I tried recovering my plants, the dates didn't do shit. Only time zones, it seems. He loved her, though. He loved her with all that he was. I'm very sad to hear that he's gone. Still. You made it back safe, and I'm glad for that. Have you any new information about the key to the Shadow Lord's castle? I'm still working on the decryption, but I'm afraid progress has stalled. Loyal Cerberus might refer to a dog, but I've never seen anything that would fit the bill. It must be pretty complicated if even you can't decode it. Well, you're our last hope, so please keep trying, okay? I will. By the way, I was walking by your house earlier, and I noticed you had some mail. You might want to check it out. Thanks. I'll do that. I can stream in 4K. Partners can stream in 4K. But if I stream in 4K, the computer will lag. So I have enough computer power to record in 4K and stream in 1080p. But if I record in 4K and stream in 1080p, the graphics card can't handle it. Because the video encoder does both the recording and the streaming and it's already at 80%. And that's an RTX 2070. And- Oh, one last thing. Since the ferryman was missing work, I arranged for someone else to handle the job. I'll make sure they know to let you use the boat as before. Gotcha. I mean, the amount of stress I put on my RTX 2070, it's a miracle Even it hasn't died those yet. Even those we have lost, the world relentlessly continues to turn. Oh, a new graphics card is like a thousand and a half, two thousand dollars, man. It's fucking pricey. Because during streams, it's encoding. Um, during the day, it's editing. And during the evening, it's exporting. It maybe gets two hours of rest a day. So 22 hours a day, it's working at full capacity, at like 80, 90 percent. My computer's a workhorse. My power bill was like seven, eight hundred dollars. And that wasn't even for the full three months. It was for like one and a half. My power bill is going to be a thousand bucks every quarter moving forward. That's how much electricity we use. We use enough electricity for six people in this household because this computer is constantly working. It's literally heating the room right now. That's how much it's working.
As per Rule 25656, please consider this your official notice that the King of Facade has chosen to enter into the ceremony of matrimony. Please lodge all objections and all congratulations through the official channel stated in Rule 38585. Sincerely, the Facade Royal Office of Marriage and other legally binding contracts and concerns. P.S. Hey guys, it's me, the King of Facade. Sorry this is all formal and stuff. Listen, I'm getting married and I want you to come, so get over here. The King is getting married. Ah, it does this old book good to see a boy become a man. Probably not a good idea to turn down a wedding invitation from a king. Let's go to Facade. We'll go this way and we'll kill the goats on the way. And time for Red Wedding 2.0, indeed. how easily they die. I don't even need a second one. I believe we need good hide though. Fuck, we just took it out in two shots. Thirty ninety? Man, you can't even get a thirty ninety. Fucking good luck. They're sold out. They all sold out the like the websites in Australia went live with the 380 Ti and they instantly sold out. Bots bought them. Plus, I don't have like 2000 bucks to spend on a card. I spent 3000 on our internet upgrade and it's going to take us a few months to pay it off. I mean, yeah, I'm really lucky. We have 100 patrons right now. So I'm getting between 4 to 500 dollars a month from that. But it's still going to take quite a few months to pay it off. I can't just keep blowing 3,000 bucks all the time. Oh shit, we get to see the wolf's point of view. They turned our beautiful forest into this. No, my brother, we cannot defeat these humans in direct combat. Wow. Wait, so the wolf wanted them to live alongside each other? Hold on. Ah, oh, our power has grown tenfold. Remember how we struggled and they kept despawning? Does it not strike you as curious to find wolves in the desert? Should it? They normally live in forests, yes. Deserts would seem to hold little sustenance for them. Well, they could certainly guess what they've been eating. Fucking despawned! Man, this thing's fucking despawning too quickly. It's pissing me off. Hey, what can I say? I'm a god. At this point, I'm basically like... In, uh, Hokage is the, like, the leaf village. Kazakage is the sand village guy, right? <laughs> what are you talking about fight? This is not a fight. This is like going hunting with the 50 cal. Oh yeah, I forgot. Beep is the one that gave the machines in order mana emotions. It's told in a short story. Really? Kazakage Gara. Uh. Man, I can't wait to start with- By the way, uh, Fab, I made a Google Doc and I linked it in the anime thread and I asked people to basically list down the episodes that are required viewing. So hopefully we can create a list of episodes and then we can just watch the key ones before the point I was up to. I don't know if you saw the link. Ooh! Kane, you're looking- what the fuck is going? Kane, why do you look like a Chinese hooker? K 
can't, hey! I can't take you to a wedding dress like that. You look like you're about to give a sucky sucky for two Dara. God damn it. Sure. If I can track. She needs 10 seeds. Let's check out the Strange Things store. I might be able to buy one I need. He's got nothing. Fuck it. Exotic costume. Rice plant seedling? I'll buy 10, just to have a good number. Watermelon seed? I'll buy 10, just to have a number. Flowering fertilizer? I'll buy 7. I'll buy 6. I have a problem. Guys, I have a problem. I have a fucking problem. Ooh. Yunk, yunk. Does that mean I have all the weapons? It's called OCD. Indeed, it does. Why is this spear more powerful than the thing I just upgraded? That is bullshit. That is a bullshit too. 90% of quests. Alright, so we have all the weapons. Do, let me guess, to get the final, we need to upgrade all the weapons, don't we? Because I don't think I'll be able to... To get Route C ending, you need to upgrade all the weapons? Oh, fuck off. That's fucked. Hey. Oh my, this certainly brings back memories. memories of what? Yeah. Many things were pleasant and sad. I used to live in the area. Wait, this is the woman that used to... Oh, then I suppose I should tell you. No, it's been destroyed, yes, I know. Oh, the girl that lived next door to me loved her phrases. We used to put them in our hair and... Anyway, one day she was attacked by a shade. Before I could do anything, she turned into a monster. I don't think the adults believe me, but I know it happened. I know it. Anyways, enough yeah, of that. Thank you for the flower. I can't believe she's become a shade. How terrifyingly cruel. Should we tell the man that his girlfriend is a shade now? I honestly don't know. Honesty is the best policy. Okay. Wolf hide? Wolf. Don't judge my OCD. Don't fucking judge it. Do not judge it. You do not understand it. Even though you just lied 20 minutes ago. Relationships are built on deception. Do not question my OCD-ness. What am I even doing? What the fuck am I even doing? I have a problem. I have a fucking problem. So you just need them for Route C. You don't even need to fully upgrade them. Good. <sighs> you should see my weaponized OCD when someone pisses me off. Models hate me. Models that consider themselves 9 out of 10 
have been brought to tears in my presence. My cousin hates me. I've literally, like, killed the egos of all her friends. And she knows I could crush her too, but I haven't yet. Ah, Kakere! She hates me. She fucking hates me. She hates everything I am and stand for. We hear your days of bachelorhood are coming to a close, King. To get the final ending in Nier Automata, you need to upgrade them. Congrats. Forgive my prime, but we are all eager to know the identity of your lucky bride. Kitrekita, Usaikyori. I watched ending Y. I'll have to rewatch it. Oh, there she is. I'm not gonna read, by the way. I'm gonna let you guys read. I read it last time. Hold on. Fira? I called her Freya. It's Fira. Why, where did I get Freya from? Fuck, I can't read names for shit. You have grown into a fine example of womanhood. I'm sure you will make a splendid queen. The king needs to fix his posture. Kainis gonna want to see this. <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintance, your royalness. Congratulations on your wedding. Hack. Um, I'm sorry Kaine's not here, but... Did I get the ending? No, but I haven't done the DLC either. But I still kept my save, so technically we can. <laughs> of course. How could we refuse? So nice of him. So nice of him. He's such a good kid. He's such a good kid. A lot of people that are born into royalty and money are just fucking assholes because they don't know how to treat people like people. They think of people as nothing more than utilities that can be bought with cash that they inherited. This kid's a good kid. Oh, human trap! Ah, fuck. Illuminati ending? I never heard about that. So the humans started this. Fuck. Fuck. Damn it, Kane. To think they even have rules governing the timing and water temperature of a bath. What's it to you? You don't even take baths. I wonder what they think of Kane's clothing. Kane? What is the matter? I don't like this. Weddings are festive occasions, you know? Should I even be here? Well, someone needs to catch the bouquet. We were invited here by the king, remember? Sure, but what about everybody else? This city isn't like our villages. It's all about the rules here. And since there isn't a specific rule about you, I honestly think they won't give a crap. Yeah, maybe. Will you at least procure a new set of lingerie for the festivities? Some spring colors, perhaps? Keep talking, book. It's funny considering she just changed her costume. Let's see how smug you are when I toss you on a campfire. <laughs> Let's see how smug you are when I use you as toilet paper. That would also be a good one. Oh. What's up? Man, we raided Nico B the other week when he was doing this part and he kept making these like daddy near jokes. I'm not gonna repeat them, but like it was it was overtly homoerotic, and I was like, Nico, 
We need to get you a girlfriend, bro. <laughs> There's a lot of homoerotic talk going on, man. Like, <laughs> tone it down, my boy. Just having trouble getting to sleep. Something bothering you? No, the opposite, in fact. I'm just so excited about the wedding that I can't settle down. Wait, Nico might actually be older than me, so I can't be calling him my boy because he might be older than me. <laughs> That's the thing. I bet it's going to have streamers and dancing and bears on unicycles and everything. <laughs> we already have two out of those three things on this stream. I'm sort of jealous. I wish I was Fira. You'll find a nice bride someday, Emil. Huh? Oh, right. Uh, bride. Meanwhile, Emil's wearing pink. <laughs> you must be tired indeed if you misunderstood that simple social nicety. I don't know, how old is Nico? Wait, my birthday was last month. Fuck, how did I forget about my birthday? Oh yeah, it was one of those, oh right, my car got killed the day before. Yeah, no wonder I wasn't too excited. Yeah, that was a shit week. My car died on our anniversary, and then my birthday got fucked, and then the internet got delayed, and then I got swamped at work. Yeah, that was a shit fucking week. No wonder I didn't really remember my but Fuck this year. Fuck this year sucked. Yeah, that's not exactly it. My fucking anniversary is also the anniversary of my car's death. The car that I loved, picked out, and even waited eight months to be built in the Toyota factory, custom order, to be exactly the way I wanted it, that I worked years to save enough money to buy, and it got fucked on my anniversary, the day before my birthday. Thanks, 2021. And I thought 2020 was bad. It's actually hey, depressing now that I think about it. Weta. Zerga to Kyuzeshi Tsuzuitai. Kaizan wo tsukite to Kizoto yaritsuta. Tonshichi. In Otomata, there was a note about facade has several severe level. They used to live in a forest which the wolf mentioned, but a flood and poor farming ruined it. This is the reason for the rule about living in multiple levels. Mm. Everyone needs to blow off steam and celebrate once in a while. Indeed, your people have earned a moment of rest and respite. Kodeta. You know what's fucked? We could probably replay near Automata and pick up a lot of things that we didn't understand given that we played it without context. And with context, there's probably a lot more in it than I realize. The reason Nico talked about Daddy Nier during this scene was because in Gestalt, Emil was more upfront about his feeling towards Nier compared to this version. Mm. Plus, you want to make Fira happy, right? Anyway, life is better when you have someone to fight for. <laughs> Yep. This kid's about to uh, have a fun day. Playing Automata after this would definitely be a new experience. In 4K, mind you. Oh, but it would probably be upscaled from 10 8 Damn at the suffering. Oh man. Oh. Oh man.
and he was the one basically telling them to not attack because they can coexist. He was the one actually holding them back. Fuck, I feel bad for them. I feel absolutely fucking horrible. Aw, weddings are the best. There's flowers everywhere, everyone's happy. It's just great. I'm kind of jealous. Aren't you jealous, Kaine? Mm. Oh, come on. Man, I feel this urge to literally jump in the middle of this wedding crowd and just start cutting people down. Literally. No tactics, nothing. Just right in the middle of the crowd and start decapitating them. One by one. Guards, king, women, children and all. That's, that's the emotional thing that I felt from watching those wolves suffer. See, now I'm not even going to care about the wedding. I'm like, so pissed off. Man, you guys underestimate how much emotional connection I feel to animals. I feel stronger emotions toward animals than humans. Because animals were never mean to me. I grew up with animals. And they were unbelievably kind to me. Humans, on the other hand... <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I, I know the I know the cyclical nature of killing and how the cycle is just self-perpetuating and both sides are justified in their actions because it's just a cycle of revenge. But then at the same time, in the moment of watching those wolves suffering, I felt that emotion. And so I'm just letting you guys know how I felt. At the same time, I'm feeling quite desensitized right now. We will abide your existence no longer, mankind. You will atone for your sins with blood. I mean... Am I mad at the wolf right now? Not really. Considering what just happened? Okay, Shadow, we get it. You spin and attack. The leader seems to have the power to reflect magic. This effectively sums up the fear. Fear. Yeah, this this sums up the cyclical nature of war and hatred in the world. Victims become instigators. Instigators create victims. Oh, 
し、たかれきた。たさす、とりたってきた。I would rethink this course of action, King. Ahead lies a battle you cannot win. Kaizen Yuri! Afyarasen! No! Zarate! Zarate! Zarga! Zarate! Zarake! Arere! Zote! Orare Kitabo! Yuri Piruatoru! Kaizen Tatodek! ラクルトデクゼルガンとイカラツグキテテカイザムタリエキューサカイザムラオットトキテソードリリスダカイセイダツワッハプンス People are victims, so they instigate. The king's grief is strong. I doubt he will stand down at this point. So they instigate, thus creating more victims. Those victims want revenge. They instigate, creating more victims. It's an endless cycle of revenge, hatred, and death. And you might think that by eliminating the cycle, there will be peace, but they won't. Because without seeing both sides of the conflict, You will never truly cherish and appreciate peace. So, with peace, there will be war. And with war, there'll be people that want peace. It's, it's the eternal paradox. Humans themselves cannot maintain peace. They are too greedy and selfish. And they will eventually use force to try to get what they want. They're too self centered. Humans need to lose things in order to learn the value of things. But the problem is, a lot of people that lose things immediately turn to rage and hatred. And only through experience and wisdom do they actually learn how to let go of that hatred. The problem is, while they're in the middle of that cycle of hatred, they create more hatred exponentially, which effectively just corrupts and overtakes us. That's the paradox. Yeah, I read the comment like six times. What were the odds that the king was unaware? Well, the king probably was unaware, but it doesn't change the circumstance. Would you apply the same logic on animals, though? Well, there are many animals that hunt out of necessity, not out of greed. But animals do also fight for territory and、um, mating rights. And that can be seen throughout the animal kingdom. Whether it be、uh, lions or you know, primates or other things, it, it always comes down to one territory, two resources, three mating rights. Hell, that doesn't even change in humans. Look what most humans fight for they fight for resources, they fight for territory for the sake of ego, and they fight for mating rights. It's always a combination of those three motivators for humans. I have yet to meet a human that does anything out of the ordinary that does not fall into one of those three categories. Why do a lot of people want to become successful or famous? It's either for resources, territory, or mating rights. Why do people become dictators? Resources, territory, or mating rights? It's always one of those three. We still fall into that very same thing all animals do. We are absolutely no different. Our language may be different, our culture may be different, our circumstances may be different, but we still operate in the same fundamental way. 
we really have not evolved as a species. We've created technology, yes, but we have not fundamentally evolved. We're still stuck on that same primal instinct. We have not transitioned away from it. We have not transcended from the very limitations that are in our programming. We are not enlightened creatures. We have the ability to reprogram ourselves. We have the ability to work on ourselves, to fix ourselves. We can do psychological and um, physical surgery and medicine. And we understand biochemistry and all these other things. Yet we are still stuck in the same cycle. How can we consider ourselves civilized? We're still savages? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We, li we live in bubbles of ignorance. We, we are not a civilized people. We live in bubbles of ignorance where we ignore what's inconvenient. It's easy for us to work 9 to 5 jobs, go home, go to the supermarket and fall asleep. And it's very easy for us to ignore that our food is sourced from countries where slave labor is a thing and the land is taken away from natives that have nothing. It's easy for us to ignore that our clothing is made in sweatshops by children working 18 hours a day with their hands that are bleeding. It's easy for us to ignore that the, you know, everyday conveniences are literally destroying the planet. <laughs> our lithium batteries are mined by children in Africa whose arms are cut off by warring villages with weapons supplied by the very countries we elect as our global leaders of democracy. And, and you want to consider us a civilized people? Yeah. I'm sorry, but we ain't. I'm guessing he'll run off to take on the wolves any time now. We're more concerned with two idiots boxing each other well, one of the idiots is a boxer, and the other one's just an idiot. <laughs> quite frankly, the world is fucked. And has been for quite a while. And probably will be for a long time. I mean, shit. At this point, let's just join the Akatsuki. Will we let him go by himself? Of course not. Hell, I hate the wolves too. Then we must prepare for the fight. It will not be an easy one. I know. That rant got depressing and dark. <laughs> it got real. It's only depressing because we know it's true. They wouldn't allow you in. What, I haven't killed enough people yet? Do I have to slaughter my own village first? I mean, hell, I hate slavs a lot because a lot of them are weak. Are you ready for battle? I mean, half my problem with my own people is that the first generation Serbs that are born in Western countries are lazy. Because they've been too babied by their parents who give them everything they haven't had growing up. I see a bunch of Slavic children sitting on a couch all day with absolutely no ambition. It disgusts me. And then they complain that life is difficult because they couldn't get into the university they wanted. Or they didn't get the car they wanted for Christmas. It disgusts me. The wolves seem to just kill humans and don't seem to even eat them. So I think they kill without even a reason necessity to survive. Well, food, territory, mating rights. Territory. Territory gives you resources as well as safety. The wolves have lost their food and resources. They tried coexisting with the humans but kept getting attacked. So they attacked in return to try to secure their territory. Yeah. I can't fault Time them for to that. Avenge Fira. I can't fucking fault them for that. They got attacked in their home. The kids got attacked. What the fuck would you do if your siblings were killed? What the fuck would you do if your kids were killed? You'd go on a murderous rampage and kill as many people as you could. I've seen it happen before. I fucking seen what that shit does to people. It turns people into monsters. Bloodthirsty monsters that will kill hundreds of people without a, without an ounce of remorse. I've seen it. 
I've seen it. It fucks people up. It breaks them. It literally breaks them. It 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 destroys who they are. <laughs> we we <laughs> we live in a bubble. A convenient bubble where we ignore the circumstances of the outside world. Our bubble is so safe, but the world is so difficult for so many. <laughs> we keep ourselves busy with the games. We watch gladiators on TV fight each other, and we eat food and drink wine and bathe and you know all the things that the Romans did meanwhile all the fields out there and the people it <laughs> humans haven't changed not one bit mm -mm. not one bit it's 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 sad and they wonder why this shit happens. War hasn't really changed. The technology has changed, but wars remained very much the same. It just keeps consuming. Madness. The wolves who attacked were only a fraction of the pack. How will you fight them all? Then count us in. We're not doing it for you, dumbass. It's for Fira. Kaine, you can't speak to a king like that! If this is indeed the plan, then let us make haste. We can ill afford another tragedy. See, I read, I read what you said, Christian, and wolves actually keep forests in balance. There were several national parks in the US and Canada that were out of balance. You had animals that were literally eating up all the plants and deforesting the place because wolves had been removed from the habitat. And they literally released two wolves, a male and a female that ended up having pups. But the male and female wolf and their pup ended up returning balance to the ecosystem by eating animals. Not by hunting them to extinction, not by hunting them too much, but literally enough to survive. And it returned the ecosystem back to normal because it gave the vegetation enough time to regenerate. It kept the vegetation close to the river safe because it was too dangerous to eat there. And so the national park and the forest flourished. None of the animals went extinct and the wolves were introduced back to the environment. Wolves are just balance. Nature has this wonderful way of balancing things. Whereas humans, you know, we really tipped those scales, didn't we? We really tipped them. Astronomically so. As soon as humans were able to eat meat and their brain was able to develop and higher cognitive functions were able to occur and we grew we just overtook we overtook when when humans ate meat and started developing weapons and used fire and sharpened stones created spears at that point that was the tipping point at that point nature was fucked I mean, just look at some native tribes. They understand the importance of not hunting their ecosystems to extinction. They understand the importance of not destroying the mother nature they rely on. Humans, most humans understood that for a good while. But the few that kept colonizing and expanding and conquering, again, in the name of resources or territory or mating rights destroyed that balance and literally it was a handful of people that had that decision 
They just grouped together villagers and convinced them that the other side was evil or some shit. And for what? Resources, their wives, and some jewels? And then humans made up their gods to justify it. Odin wants war, this god wants war, Mars wants war, Hades wants war, fucking everyone wants war. When you really think about it, the humans are the demons of the planet. We are the very devils that we are afraid of. Jesus. And it takes games like this to make you realize it. God. The introspection. ある手はトヤリラ。ディン。フィア撃ちた。タトサダ。キラツヨリ歌った。キツシ。リュリュトサ。ディン。距離を愛そうと。フィア。トツだった。ディン。あんだとせ。ティン。トシケン。ユカイ
Oh god, they even... Appear to be targeting the king. Sit good up, Kaizen. Kaizen de Kyori! He seeks the king of Facade. Yeah, these wolves don't stand a chance. Such dogged, unwavering defiance. Why do these beasts hold so much rage? I don't know, maybe you killed their children. The smaller wolves are not infected with shades. As for the leader, if even one shade is here, then I have to kill all of them. <laughs> Poor fucker. Above you, stay on your guard. Damn, the amount of damage we're doing, I don't even have to do anything. off dude 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 fuck dude that's got me tearing up
I believe that young Fira was perfectly content with the life she had. This is the most painful section with context. The leader believed in humans because he was originally a pet for a kind human before becoming a shade. Cool. Imagine the first few wild dogs that befriended humans in exchange for food. And then they formed part of the tribe. Becoming companions of the humans. And then eventually humans started breeding them into small little cute poodles. Of course. Does this not sound like what she would say to you? She was terribly proud of her king. And now you must do all you can to honor her memory. And now there's literally dog farms for meat throughout Southeast Asia and China and South Korea. It disgusts me. It disgusts me. It, it fucking disgusts Fuck. Fuck. There's literally a dog eating festival in China once a year. They kidnap people's dogs and they boil them alive. I can't think of anything better than dropping a hydrogen bomb at that goddamn festival. Literally, there's like photos. They, you know, they get those rods, those long metal pikes with like the metal rod around it. And they grab the dog by the neck and they literally hold it by the neck with a metal rod, put it in boiling water while it's screaming. I would fucking hydrogen bomb that entire festival. Put everyone out of their goddamn collective misery. Is that another infernal rule? The poor king. This is all the shade's fault. It's so like I, with context, route B adds so much weight. Route A, from that point of view, it's clearly the shades. Route B, you realize half the shades aren't even fighting, and the other half are just children. And now you're beginning to see that half the shades actually wanted peace. And out of fear, they were killed. Then they made them breed for each other just to make a cuter dog. Then their own gain while making the next generation have more birth defects all in the breeding. Yeah. The little dogs have respiratory problems because their noses are too short. Like Cheeky was sleeping next to me, you could basically hear how much she struggles to breathe through her nose. Pugs have like the most respiratory problems because they can't actually breathe through their noses. Man, sometimes I wonder if this is the last of them. Sometimes I wonder if humans are just a plague on the planet. Now we can find the Shadow Lord and Yona. We certainly can. Cheeky's Maltese Pomeranian. Hold on, Yona. I'm almost there. But at the same time, I understand much of the cycle because I've been through it. I went through the cycle of innocence, fear, hatred, and then eventually understanding. So I could definitely see the pitfalls and how easy it is to fall into them. Can't take the boat out right now because the canal's apparently crawling with shades. What? Hate to say it, but I'm afraid you're gonna have to walk. We should return to Popola and see if she has any final words for us. Oh yeah, we're up to the Shadow Lord. We're literally up to the Shadow Lord. We have all five. And now we're probably going to hear more of his talk. Which is going to fucking suck. And I really want to know what happens to Kane after the ending because she walks away. 
It, it's painful. It's painful. Ah, oh, humanity, why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? No wonder people just like blissful ignorance. It's so much easier. So much less weight to carry. Being an idiot going through the motions of living without being even sure what life is or its purpose. Blissful morons. Yes! Oh, dodged it. To be honest, either humans can be the savior or the ones to end the world. And it's sad to come down to this. All we needed to do is coexist, but now I've turned it into this. Well, we've turned it into this because the few people in power are greedy. And that's why they're in power. Because they play on the greed of others. So the people that they use to maintain their control are just as greedy as they are. And they give them a taste of their power and resources in exchange for blind obedience and enforcement. The world is a giant pyramid scheme. <laughs> I'm killing you. Let's see if our flowers have, uh, rotted. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What's going on? What is it? So, we can finally save Yona now, huh? Hey! It would appear that way. <sighs> what is it, lad? You've quite the pensive look on your face. Listen, I need your advice. It's about Kaine and Emil. What advice? This upcoming fight with the Shadow Lord is gonna be rough. And while I'd do anything for Yona, I'm not sure it's fair to drag the two of them into this. Mate, the stuff that's happening in Palestine right now is very similar to what was happening in my country when I was a kid. Trust me, I'm well aware of it. My neighbor's house got fucking bombed, man. And that was like a few houses down. Trust me, I'm intimately aware of the situation. Are you truly worried about such a thing now? After all our merry little band has been through. Hey, the fuck's this hot garbage you've been spewing? Hmm? Someone's been eavesdropping, eh? Kaine, Emil, look, I just... Wanted to leave us behind? Why, so we'd be safe? Fuck that. Kaine's right. You accepted me. You told me we'd be together, no matter what happens. Now it's time for us to return the favor! Don't make me start talking about loyalty and debts and all that. You know I hate mushy shit. But... If it makes you feel better, we're not doing it for free. After we rescue Yona, we're totally gonna call in a favor of our own. We're going on a journey to cure Kaine's possession and restore my body. It's gonna be tons of fun! Just think of all the delicious local foods we can try along the way! I'm gonna eat way more than my fair share. So you better get ready to pony up. Meanwhile, when we got Yona, she simply went away and we forgot all about this. Nia, you're a dick. <sighs> and not the good kind, either. Thanks, you two. Wait, that came out very badly. We're gonna rescue Yona. That came out it. very poorly. Damn it, I'm sounding like a Twitch thought. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Making fun of Fab really jinxed me. Fuck! Fuck! God fucking damn it! I marvel at how relatively simple a task this retrieval process proved to be. It's a trap! It is almost as if someone deliberately set us on this path. You're overthinking again, Vice. But, uh, I don't care if it's a trap. Yuna's waiting for me and I'm going. Do you think nice. humans have too much free will? Maybe that's why they never had free will to begin with. Well, they had free will, but they didn't have the fruit of knowledge. Maybe that's why. 
The knowledge was dangerous. And it would shift the ecosystem out of balance. Look what's happening now. That's what happens when creatures of clay learn how to use fire. Alright, quick little break and we continue. Quick three minute break. Vice! You dumbass! Start making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry! Maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one, or maybe I'll put you in the goddamn furnace! How can someone with such a big smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord! Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us! <laughs> 